So this renovation should only take a few weeks and not a whole lot needs done. And I really like this property because it's in a college town right in between campus and downtown. And the best part about this is the kitchen, as you see here, is pretty much good to go. I mean, this kitchen's good. We have new appliances, but we do have to add a few things. And one of the first is we are gonna to have to replace these floors. So we have the flooring already here. We're gonna get started our rehab tomorrow. We got some lights as well. So we are gonna replace a lot of the lights. Um, just the small things like these lights here, they're gonna go, you can see them sure. there. We're gonna get those lights. We also have lights um, in the, the bathroom we are going to Retexture the bathroom ceiling. We're also going to replace the flooring in the bathrooms. So the living room here again This is all pretty much ready to go um, We're not really gonna to have to put much into here as you see we already have the hardwood floors. They hold up uh, I personally don't love hardwood floors. I actually grew up with hardwood floors But they are nice to have in a property like this because they're durable And then we're gonna clean up these steps as we go upstairs and this property is gonna sleep uh, six people so we're gonna put um, actually sorry five people so we're gonna put a queen two queen beds and one twin um, downstairs so here is one of the bedrooms and again this bedroom is ready to go as you see no rehab is gonna be needed we'll cover that up and then this room they have this interesting little star whichever you would call it uh, <laughs> pattern and we're actually going to leave this because this room's in good shape uh something a little different but why spend money um so just a unique room and it's a short-term rental you know if someone sees a picture and doesn't want to rent because there's some stars on the ceiling and i'm sorry there's uh there's other properties you can rent um, right here we got newer windows which is great so we don't really have to worry about much of that and then right here we are into the bathroom the bathroom here we are going to retexture the ceiling and then we are going to throw in flooring. I uh, had a you know, debate with my business partner about replacing these floors on this deal, but um, definitely I, I actually won the argument and we are going to replace the floors. We're going to do gray flooring. Um, we're going to do gray in the kitchen and the bathrooms and I think it'll look nice. Um, paint it up, look, make it look nice. White bathroom, gray floors, keep it pretty simple. Uh, but next, we will go into the basement. All right, so I apologize. We're probably not gonna have the best lighting in the basement, uh, but the basement's in good shape. I'm gonna show you here. We are going to continue the flooring from the kitchen all the way into this landing area here. And while we're here, I'll show you outside. We're gonna put in a little deck area or sitting area back here. We've got a nice uh, big backyard, but we just actually got a new electrical panel. Uh, this was something uh, we ran into at closing and we ended up being able to split uh, the cost with the seller. So we got a new electrical panel. Uh, it was not in tube. Uh, it was definitely needed replaced. The one thing is we do have a little bit of an older furnace and uh, but this one does run so we decided uh, that we are going to keep the furnace but here we're going to get a washer and dryer delivered in a few days we're going to pay the floor we are going to throw some sensor lights all around here so when someone comes down it'll turn on and when someone leaves they'll shut off so overall not a whole lot needs to be done in the basement um, but we can finish up outside i'll show you the last things that need done outside and uh, we'll wrap it up all right, we are outside and this is actually the property. If you saw the video, I'll link it down below. A tree actually fell on top of this property. So here is the tree. We got that taken down. Um, so uh, the roof is okay. There's not really any damage, but so we're gonna replace the gutters. We're gonna wash the moss off the roof. We're gonna power wash the outside. Uh, we actually are gonna get a new HVAC unit. Uh, this one's pretty old, so we're getting that installed as well. And then out here, out front, we are going to replace uh, this deck here up front because it, as you can see, is not very sturdy. So we're gonna get that stuff replaced. So not a whole lot outside. We are gonna throw some gravel driveway, clean it up, do some hardscaping outside. And then after that, this place should be ready to rent. And like I said, rehab on this should take about, hopefully we'll have this live a month from today. That's, that is the goal, if not sooner.
So as promised, you might wonder how we got this property when there was over 20 offers in and most of them were cash and we actually got our deal accepted in it's being financed, eventually financed. And I'll tell you what we did. We offered to have, we had the realtor, the listing agent, uh, we asked her to write our offer. So when you do that, they're gonna get the buyer and seller commission. So they're getting extra commission. So it's gonna make them want to work with you even more. We also put in our offer as finance, conventional uh, financing, but we have a contingency that if financing falls through, that we'll purchase cash. So we weren't able, we didn't have to put all our capital necessarily out for cash. We were able to finance it with the bank and overall it worked out well. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Smash that like button if you wanna see the after uh, video when everything's done in a few weeks. And that's all I got. Until next time, Evan Dante signing out. Peace.